Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and uh, uh, I'm going to discuss with you the preparation strategy for the interviews of uh, ISRO uh, that is the uh, interviews are coming for this ISRO exam written exam is already cleared still some date has not come so let me uh, first tell you that uh, when we can expect this uh, ISRO interviews in my opinion within two months I think they should conduct this intro interview of uh, ISRO exam uh, they cannot wait for long it is not that after six months they will conduct or offline they will conduct uh, till I believe till next couple of months offline interviews cannot be there so largely I think interviews will be online but you know ISRO kind of interviews and BARs interviews are held they are the long marathon sessions they are long interviews so they are waiting that offline can be done but in my opinion it will not be done so I think online interview is the only option which ISRO is to go for as of now now see a research organization can interview like ISRO, BARC, DRDO these are the interviews in which they do not check your knowledge they check your approach uh, they are not interested in whether you have given right answer or not. They are only interested what is the approach you are following uh, while you are answering. Are you uh, theoretically correct or not? Are you even trying? Uh, is your thinking becoming divergent or, and then convergent? Is it creative thinking or not? Are you solution uh, finding approach you are following or not? this kind of thinking they check it so in the interview also they keep on giving you some kind of hints that, okay what do you think by this can you go for this can you go for this what can be done so you need to be very very calm and you need to have strong uh, uh, hold on your fundamentals these basics this is required so science part of engineering you know engineering is a daughter of science only science is the mother of engineering so are you confident in engineering part or not uh, science part or not behind every engineering that is number one uh, number two application part of engineering you know or not because whatever you learn like uh, I'm for mechanical engineering so I, I will give you example of that only if you learned Bernoulli equation are you even knowing what is the application of that why do you learn Bernoulli equation or friction what is the application of friction why you do that what is the purpose of that or suppose you have uh, under uh, you have done some kind of uh, a second law of thermodynamics in which you talk about the entropy what is the significance of that why even you analyze entropy is there any application so they are not interested in formula equation theory they are interested in application part of that that is another thing so are you confident with basic science part of that are you confident with the application part of that that is what they are interested so you need to be first number one you should have knowledge there is no do away with that knowledge you should have number two you, sh you can only come out with the knowledge if you are totally calm and balanced the, on the day of interview. Your mind is totally calm. Your mind should be focused. It should not be disturbed. You should not have any fear. Now, how to remove fear? The one way to remove fear is if you have good knowledge, then obviously you are confident. But you cannot have entire knowledge of the universe, you know. Second part will be practice. Practice is something which makes you confident. So if you have gone for many interviews and done a lot of practice, then you will feel, okay, I have done a lot of practice and practice will make you perfect. This is something like that. So this is the part of ISRO and, you know, kind of research organizations may, once you get a call, then they have not revealed any, like I was just uh, discussing uh, in another video, Coal India Limited may interview marks are 10 marks. ISRO will not reveal those kind of things or DRD or BRC do not reveal those things. They normally uh, give very high weightage to interviews, you know normally they don't reveal they give very high value to interviews so if they find some candidate really good a written exam may not be very good but then interview can make a difference so that means interview is really crucial for these kind of research organizations now let's go for uh, some uh, things as i told you physics is something which is very very important part of uh, research organization you should know physics behind uh, this interview so how to know the physics answer is uh, you have done 11th 12th classes and whatever topic you do now in engineering the basic science of that was in uh, 11th and 12th like if you have done fluid mechanics uh, or uh, uh, properties of the substance they that is a chapter in 11th class also so why don't you see that chapter once again and uh, get yourself comfortable with the concepts there Bernoulli equation you have studied in engineering that you have studied in uh, science also. So why don't you go behind that and understand the physics part of that. Application of engineering subjects is very very important. So whatever chapter you are preparing please also ask yourself what is the application part of that. How can we go for that. How can we revise that. Final year uh, your BTEC project is something which is very very important you know. Because BTEC project largely students do not do in the college seriously. 
they are going to ask you what was your btech project because in that job also isro also you have to handle the project and one more thing i want to tell you before you go for interview please see what projects are being going on in isro because if they ask you why you are interested in isro you need to tell you need to link that sir this is my reason and the projects which are going on in isro i like these projects very much and i would like to work in this domain so you can do that wherever you get interview call from please know that organization please go through that organization and see what is going on in that organization yes sir, whatever training you have done or industrial training you have done or internship you have done knowledge of that should also be there because other than curriculum what you have learned in your project in your training what you have done they are also going to ask you there now there are always some favorite subjects related to each branch of engineering so if i talk, talk about mechanical engineering strength of material fluid mechanics thermodynamics these are some of the core subjects similarly there are core subjects in each branch of engineering you have to do that because they are uh, going to ask you questions from there now you see uh, uh, your pd as you know the dedicated platform which is uh, preparing students for interviews for the last now couple of years two years and this year online uh, automatically became online we were conducting it online long back so everything is going online mock interviews and all your pd is conducting online through telephone also and through skype also now your pedia as many of you have already taken benefit advantage of that uh, your pedia conducts uh, uh, the 20% of the services of your pedia are free for uh, students like uh, mock interviews are also some mock interviews are conducted free but it cannot be done many mock interviews free you understand that so uh, those of you who dedicated who really want uh, uh, good preparation in this particular direction they really want to go for really good preparation in this direction then you need to uh, basically uh, uh, go for the paid consultancy of your pedia in which these are the components which are offered so there are some uh, three full length panel mocks uh, out of which two will be telephonic one will be conducted on skype panel mock means there will be more than two mentors three mentors will be there they will be asking you question and really long mock interview three individual subjects snap mocks as i told you that uh, suppose your engineering there are three core subjects so one mock on each subject and that will be conducted by subject mentor individual mock will be conducted for let's say 10 15 minutes that will be the mock for that one snap mock on btech project of your or your internship training or your job experience one snap on relevant hr questions one snap on your introduce yourself this is something which is very very important introduce yourself so uh, from there intro starts yes we create a dedicated whatsapp group of all the students going for particular interview like all the students who are going for isro uh, dedicated whatsapp group is created the benefit of that is whenever we conduct the snap or mock of one student we share it with all so that preparation can be multiplied students help one another and mentors share many of the learning material also on those whatsapp groups so they uh, find that this is to be learned they share on that study material also uh, mentors uh, whatever they feel their hand written material or pdfs they get that is shared on the this particular group interaction of with the mentors is uh, continuously done information and data related to particular organization like isro se related what subject should i prepare and all that data is shared there so audio clips of the mentors and all information uh, domain is Uh, provided there so that means a dedicated group is prepared of the students okay you are going for isro this is a group of students going for isro this is how you have to prepare that dedicated group is actually prepared for that so this is uh, what the uh, help your pedia team can provide you in the preparation of this my advice to you is that uh, this is a crucial stage if you have come up to the interview module give your 100% and try to convert it all the best interview uh, is basically all practice be confident and go for it thank you